So in my last video, I showed you how to get the 3D trees into space. I've got my mask, which I put on there. And now I want to make them the trees have shadows on. So <clears throat> let's get these two trees. And the easiest way to do it, just make sure the anchor is on the bottom or where it touches the floor. And that is very important. Because if you don't have that, then the then this effect, uh, this technique won't work to get the shadows. So to change the anchor, you can press control double click on this pan behind tool and then move the anchor to the bottom okay move the anchor to the bottom the anchor is on the bottom because i did it earlier okay all right so let's get this shadow on this tree so <clears throat> if you've got like a million if you've done a million of these sprites you just these objects you just put here and you've got 3d everywhere simplest way to do this is to select them all. So I've got tree one and tree two. I'm gonna duplicate it. And then I'm gonna rename them shadow. So you can get some plugins which you can rename things. So I've got this plugin here, scripts, um, renamer. And basically I'm gonna add on the end shadow. So it automatically selects it when you duplicate some tracks and um, some layers. So just rename, so now it's tree four shadow, tree three shadow. So I know which ones are shadows and which ones are not shadows. Okay, so simply select those shadows, just open these up like this. And if you, you go and transform, go to the X rotation and put in here minus 90. And this should do it in both because I've got them both selected. And you can see they're on the floor there. So they're on the floor and very small. And on both of them again, or all of them, opacity, change it to 50. And then in the effects, put in fill, drag it on, and then change the color to black. And this will only do it for one of the layers when you drag an effect. So you just do control C, select all your other layers you want to put in in the shadows and then control v and then you get your fill on both of them as you can see there so you've got a tiny bit of shadow there now so if you want to see on this carpet if you just drag it along and the shadow moves can you see and the shadows the shadow is now moving with the x plane so before it's it's, a, it's as if the light, the sun, is on the top left of the screen. Now, you could do, depending on the direction of light, so the direction of light here is coming in the other angle, so I could change it to plus 90, plus 90, and it would have the same effect, and you can just toy around with it, so I've just gone minus 90 because it's easiest, but just change the angle can change the direction of the light you think you're going at, okay? So, <clears throat> if you want to see that without the carpet on, so forget the, that off, and I've got black background, but I want to change it, let's change it to checkerboard. So that's the transparency. You can see the trees behind the mask there. So, right, I want to make a, green sky now or blue sky so what i do simply is layer new solid and i get a blue so blue sky is eight hash 84 sieb hash 84 sieb put it there and look it's at the front so if you just move it and move it behind the mask just move these down you can see it's a blue sky here and if you want to make a horizon like in my video this rectangle tool and you just press Q again Q and ellipse tool yeah so make sure it's not selected on the 3D camera check otherwise it will make a mask so what not there put it behind the medium no on top of the medium solid but behind the mask and you've got yourself kind of a horizon but if you want to add an effect to that so it's kind of blurred so what do you do you add an effect blow and sharpen let's 
you've got all these different blur so fast box blur let's up it and look so it's kind of like a uh, horizon ish thing you can just make it wider and then it looks more like a horizon but obviously the trees are over the horizon so you might have to move this up make it a bit bigger and then you can keyframe the the um position of it so you could put this on the floor with the 3d camera tracker but might be a bit of a pain so position or keyframe position and then i want it to leave just there just over the last tree so if i change that whoops that's the wrong coordinate so if you yeah, just just over the last tree there we go so if you look at this now if you just play it that's a bit so i want to move that keyframe so it doesn't move until the camera starts moving and there you go so that's how i made my lego video and i hope these helped you and you can see a lot of the shadows so it looks a bit less like the floating and i've done them i've shown you the mask i've shown you 3d camera tracking and i've showed you shadows so i hope these techniques will help you make whatever you want um in the future okay thanks please comment like and subscribe it really helps my channel and have a look at my lego video and it's um these effects are towards the end i've, I've got some effects in the middle um but they aren't as uh, technical as the end and then you get kind of a grips of what i've done okay so um thanks for watching